Welcome back to Go Winnipeg. Once again, it is Go Winnipeg Nutrition Month, and my guest today is Gina Sunderland. And Gina, we are in your kitchen, your home, but it's all about getting us back into the kitchen, right? Absolutely. Nutrition Month's theme is simply cook and enjoy, and it's so important that people cook those healthy meals at home, because when we don't, it can negatively affect our health. An interesting survey that was conducted by Dietitians of Canada with more than 2,000 adults across the country demonstrated that about 43% <gasps> of Canadian Whoa. families are not cooking healthy That's meals for, half. for themselves or their families on a regular basis. Yeah, but we're so busy, everything, we don't have time. Do you know that's exactly what Canadians said? They're too busy, and sometimes they just simply do not know what to make. So oh, we have so excited. a solution for this. Dietitians of Canada has launched a brand new app. It's mm -hmm. only been out for just under a week, and there's been more than 6,000 downloads. It's called Cookspiration. You can get it for free, too, at cookspiration.com, and I love it. It changes depending on the time of the day, the date. And so if you want lunch ideas, if you want supper ideas, it's gonna change throughout the day. There's more than 180 recipes. Oh my gosh. And let's go to some lunch ideas here. All right, so I like the look of this salad. So for every recipe, this Greek salad, you get a picture, you get the ingredient list, then you get the simple, simple instructions. And you know what's awesome? You know these recipes are healthy because you also get the full nutrition facts. That looks like the back of every package and everything it's you buy at the just store. Just phenomenal. And these recipes are simple. Many of them have only six ingredients or less. Oh. So a lot of people think cooking has to be complicated. It has to be time consuming. You have to load up your grocery cart with ingredients to make a healthy meal. That's simply not true. Okay, so I've been standing here in front of this incredible mm. pizza crust. Mm. So what are we gonna do with it? Well, this is one of our favorite family meals. This is a simple roasted red pepper pizza mm -hmm. and you can get it on Cookspiration as well. So you can use either an olive oil mist mm -hmm. for the bottom or you can use the traditional tomato sauce. I mean, with I pizza, know. everybody can make their own, right? Even and I can. can. Modify. Yeah, All so right. this is a whole wheat pizza crust. So I can mm -hmm. go ahead. Mm -hmm. You can buy frozen bread dough. One of the things that we were talking about was how fresh herbs make things delicious. So I'm yes. gonna just chop some fresh basil but you can use dried and you know the sky is the limit we do something in our house called a pizza bar often on Friday nights I'll prep a few simple ingredients just like this and everybody can have their own pizza flat or a pita or a whole wheat tortilla it's so simple you make your own it's customized ah, there you go mm -hmm. so what's next ah, let's put the cheese on okay okay now, I know that you've been cooking for so long, but you're so excited about this app. So it really, it's so convenient. I don't see any cookbooks here or little recipe cards. Oh. And yeah, I guess the whole inspiration for this. Oh, for sure. Just because Canadians aren't cooking because one of the main barriers that they report is that they simply don't know what to make. And with simple recipes, simple ingredient lists, this can easily get us back in the kitchen. And it's so important to improve our health. And I think it really takes things back to the basics. Look how simple cooking is. We've almost made a meal here and it's taken us literally minutes. Just a little bit of prep. I love peppers. The more yes. colorful your diet can be, the more nutrients you have in your diet. Peppers yes. are loaded with vitamin C and that's such a good immune booster at this time of year. Now you have kids, how hard is it to introduce your kids to eating different things? let alone tell them that it's healthy and good for them. <laughs> well, I think the thing is you just keep introducing it. You put the options out there and eventually, if they're offered enough times, they'll try. Mm -hmm. I have two boys, one will try anything. The other one hesitates with every new ingredient or new item or new recipe. And you know, I've really involved him in cooking and he's 17 now and he's actually a fantastic cook. He can cook circles around my husband. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, folks, don't forget it's Cookspiration. Gina will be by later on with another great dish, but you're gonna continue on with oh, the pizza. Yeah. Oh, and the finished one looks absolutely incredible. So that is a red bell pepper pizza. Yes, it is. Ready to go. More healthy tips. It's nutrition month. Don't go away. Coming up now, we are heading into the Paralympics because of course the Olympics are over, but you can still get your, I guess your sports fix with the Paralympics. Let's go to a profile on the man who founded the actual event, Bob Stedward.